good people, welcome. So I hesitated to do this with everything in me for good reason. Um, the internet is a vicious place, but I thought to myself, I would want to hear this from another black woman. I don't want to hear this from a black man. I don't want to hear this from anyone else. I'm talking to you black woman to black woman. I am also upset about the Tessica Brown situation, so I'm going to try to keep this concise and short. I'm also a person in this space who talks about black women and their hair, and recently I've taken on more bigger topics. So I said to myself, just do it, and here we are. For anyone who doesn't like to stick around for the whole video, the whole point is you're no better than Tessica Brown. You could be in her situation, and black women, we have to do better. So first and foremost, I am so sick of seeing black women tear down this woman talking about she's stupid. She should have known better. All this stuff in many places acting like black women in America, because I'm talking about the USA, that's where I live, is what I know, don't do just as stupid shit all the time. Don't use just as crazy products on their hair all the time. Black women use glue on their hair on a regular basis here in the US. And I think this is what irks me about this the most. Black women, we do know that we go through a lot of lengths and we'll do a lot of things to preserve and to beat our hair into submission. And we do it all the freaking time. Some of us go to more extremes than others, but I don't put anything past any of us as a community. And that's why when this happened, my initial response was, dang, I feel so bad for her. Like, I hope she gets the help. But then my second response was, I wish she hadn't come on the internet. Because I know, I know, everybody gonna act like she crazy. And they're gonna turn on her in 72 hours. And matter of fact, I did a live on Monday on Instagram and said that. And it took 72 hours for everyone, including black women, to turn on her. Why am I putting myself in this place of calling black women out? Because I know, and we know, some of the crazy stuff black women use to grow our hair, to take care of our hair, and to make sure it always looks good before stepping out the house. We do this on a regular basis. I made a list in two seconds of some of the BS that black women use on their hair on a regular basis. And so no one has any room to throw stones. For example, Monistat. Monistat has been going through our community for years as a solution for hair growth. We also have sulfur in its various forms being paired with various things. Sulfur so products that are meant to be used on horses, we've used on our hair. Vaseline was the thing for a time. Everybody was trying to use Vaseline on their hair. Lash glue being used in different places on the body. Glue, glue in many forms. Got to be is a spray glue. We act like, like got to be is good for our hair. Like got to be is normal. Like using glue is normal. It's not. Using these glues leads to traction alopecia for a disproportionate number of black women. And so for me, us trying to stand on this hill of I am better than Tesca Brown, that Tesca Brown is stupid, is tone deaf, it's not empathetic, and it's complete and utter BS. Because if I know black women who have done this, I know each and every black woman does too. I may not wear weaves and wigs, but I know black women who do, and I know many of them who use various types of glue in their hair to make sure that weave and wig does not move. I also know that black women desire the same things as a whole from their hair as Tesca Brown did. Tesca Brown used that glue as a means to make sure her hair was laid. Let's not act like the baby hair phenomena runs rampant through the black hair community. Natural hair, not natural hair. It runs rampant. We talk about it all the time. Tessica wanted sleek, smooth hair. I know many black women who when they do their wash and goes, no matter how curly or kinky it is, they still lay them baby hairs. Why? Because they desired the same thing that Tessica Brown did from her hair. I know many a black woman who, when they do some kind of bun 
updo, whatever, slick that shit to the gods. Why? Because they desired the same thing that Tesca Brown did from her hair, right? They just want it to look presentable. They don't want to go out the house looking any kind of way. Why? Because that's what we do in our culture for many reasons. I'm not getting into the social political reasons. I think there are many people on the internet who are better equipped to do that than me. So I ain't going to step into that. But what I will say is I am like utterly annoyed and disappointed by the sheer volume of black women who one, didn't want to show empathy, who two, spent their times not only in my DMs, but in others talking about how Tesca Brown had to have known better. I don't know what was going through this woman's mind, but I do know that she is not crazy or abnormal for trying something to look presentable. Many, many black women do. The monostat and the Vaseline started with somebody and many people picked it up. I have no doubt with everything in me if your favorite influencer said I used Gorilla Glue on my head and it worked. Whether you knew the consequences or not, I know that a lot of women on here would try it. I know. I know for a fact. If you didn't have the whole Tesca Brown thing, I know that if your favorite influencer said I use this particular Gorilla Glue on my hair to look like this and it stayed for four weeks. I know that many of you would try it. And that is why I am just so annoyed, I think. That's why I'm so disappointed. That's why I felt the need to call other black women out because we act like we are better and we are not better. We do the same things. There is a product called Gorilla Snot on the market and we use it. There is a lot that we do to our hair, a lot of ingredients that we put together that would sound and, and feel insane to other people. I mean onion. People use onion on their hair for various reasons and while I don't subscribe to it and I never will, I'm also not going to be unsympathetic, unempathetic to the people who do, right? I, I, as a black woman, I understand what we want out of this world. I understand that we do whatever we can to not get picked on in this world, to be seen the same as other women. And so I have empathy. I don't think that I am better than anyone else and I'm disappointed and no black woman should. We should be lifting each other up. There are so many people on this YouTube space trying to tell black women what to do with our hair, how to dress, how to be. And I don't want us as black women to feed into that level of toxicity. We are amazing creatures. When we stand together, we are better together. I just, I, it disgusts me, really. I just, I had to call the BS out because it's like, I know the many things that black women do to our hair to have it look a particular way to then go for blood when it comes to Tessica Brown because she decided to use something that she thought she would be able to rinse out a couple hours later to go after her with everything, with all your vitriol, really says more about you. It really does. But just do me a favor and don't give the rest of the world this ammunition that they now have and this platform to once again tear down another black woman. Do better.